All right, for more on the upcoming debate, let's bring in Dr. Tom Belt, Professor and Political Management Program Director at George Washington University. Professor, good to have you back on. Um, as we heard Owen say, the polls really seem to flatten out for the moment uh, since Harris's initial surge. Why do you think that is? And do you think tomorrow's debate could maybe be a make or break moment for the vice president? Well, thanks. It's good to be with you again. I don't think we need to put too much stock in this most recent poll, even though there was a slight downtick, it was still within the margin of error. And of course, the national polls are not how we elect our president. We use the electoral colleges and the state is what matters. So each of the states. So um, can this debate be important? It certainly can. Uh, it's often said that a debate is not going to win you the election, but it could lose it for you. Just ask Joe Biden. Uh, so, you know, we know that that's certainly the, the point. But I think, uh, you know, we know what Donald Trump is. We've had a term with him. Voters need to be more introduced to Kamala Harris and her policies, what she stands for, and what an America under a Harris administration would look like. Yeah, and speaking of the debate, both sides are preparing in their own way. That said, is there a right or wrong way to prep for a debate, and can you ever be prepared enough? Well, you can almost not be too prepared, but uh, you know, you also don't want to be so overprepared that you're not ready for a good spontaneous moment. Uh, or at least one that looks like a spontaneous moment. We know that most of the undecideds are not going to be watching the debate. It's actually the people who are really committed to one party or another watch the debate to see how their candidate's going to do. The people who are undecided are going to get their news in the next day or two about what happened in the debate. And that's why we're going to see these candidates try to get off these zingers, as we call them, that get replayed over and over, that can try to get their message out that they want voters to hear. And Professor Bell, what do you think each candidate needs to convey during this debate? And what do you think the voters want to hear? Well, I think the voters want to hear exactly what I just said, which is what would you do to make voters' lives better? What is your future plan for America? I mean, like I said, we did have four years under Trump, so we know what he brings, but he hasn't talked too much about what he would do about inflation. He's talked about tariffs, but he's always talked about that and not much else. And Kamala Harris has talked about this opportunity economy, but she hasn't put too much uh, on the uh, skeleton in terms of what it's going to be. She has a uh, something that she's releasing today about some more details. I think people want to hear that. People want to know what the future is like, because after all, elections are about the future. Yeah, and if you were advising either of the candidates, what would you tell them to do during the debate? Well, first of all, don't mess up, <laughs> because we know that the election can, can be swung on a very bad debate performance. But the other thing is to actually be forthright and tell people why their lives will be better under your administration than your opponents. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Professor Bell, great to be with you as always. Thank you so much. Great to be on. Thank you.